Today, I'm going to be reacting to the song Amygdala by August D for the first time ever. That's right, the trilogy. This is the last one in the trilogy, so I've heard. So I'm very excited to see where this is going to go. Now, we did a reaction to the first two, and oh my God, they were like some of my favorite things that I've ever reacted to. The talent in this guy is unbelievable, and I just have no doubt that what we're about to see is going to be incredible. Guys, let me know what are your thoughts on this track, and out of the trilogy, which one is your favorite? Let me know. Now, I'm a 33-year-old metalhead from the UK just getting into K-pop for the first time and documenting it all here on this channel so if you want to be a part of my journey make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below so you can be a part of that adventure and if you want to see these videos way before they hit youtube decide what we do here have your own videos reacted to i do have a patreon the link to that is down in the description below come and join us we're having an awesome time over there also let me know what do you guys want to see do you want to see some live stuff do you want to see some other group reactions let me know but guys with that said hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get it all right let's go okay very different tone than what I was expecting. That is a beautiful guitar, though. Ooh, singing, okay. Wow. Already, I'm just completely caught off because the other two tracks have had, like, such energy and such kind of, like, rawness and grit to them. To have this, I'm actually very excited about this. I'm actually kind of glad we're going down this route if we are going down this route because I want to see what he's able to do on his own like this, you know? His voice is so damn good. Who is he talking to? Is he talking to himself? Is he talking about his memories? Oh. He's asking himself. Okay, I'm, I'm hyped now because he's so brilliant with his lyrics. Like, he, I think, like, he, especially, like, um, the, the last one uh, that he did, the second one in the trilogy, I just loved the way that he was, like, introspective, though the way he thought about things. And the fact that he's now kind of going inwards like this, I'm all for it. Damn, dude. Okay. His mother had heart surgery? Oh. Oh, damn. Okay, this is incredible. I didn't know he was going to be going in this deep and this kind of like introspective, but this is incredible. The fact that he's kind of like stood over his own self on the sofa is interesting because he's kind of talking like he's repressed a lot of things or there's a, there's been a lot of things that he hasn't really come to terms with or even like even like thought about. And now he's confronting them. And I think the visualization of him standing over himself is literally just the encapsulation of that. Dude, he is an artist, man. No. So did he actually consider this? I'm actually in awe of how open he is being here. It's very rare that you see an artist that has such a big platform to be able to like convey stuff like this that is so fragile and kind of private. This is incredible. Did he genuinely think that? Wow, man. That's the thing. He's been inflicted by things. Dude, this song is actually beautiful. It's very melancholy and sad, but it's beautiful that he's confronting these things. Dude, this might be my favorite so far. Wow. How the hell does this only have 12 million views on YouTube? It doesn't make sense. Now, I know in the grand scheme of things, that's a lot. But I mean, by the standards, I mean, this is genuinely incredible. I think this is some of the most powerful stuff that I've seen. Like, this is completely up there. 
It's got to be so painful revisiting stuff like that. So beautifully said. Oh, that's so huge. Oh, man. Like, this song has given me so many different emotions. Oh, man. I just had to Google what the amygdala is, and apparently it is the part in your brain that is responsible for your memories and the emotions and, like, emotion, the emotions that you attach to memories. So when he's saying about this he's kind of like almost trying to appeal to that part of his brain to help him erase these memories or help him through it he's almost pleading and that is so kind of like sad and melancholy because it's kind of like he's saying i'm not even in control anymore and i don't have anywhere else to turn but i'm begging you please oh man this song is genuinely a masterpiece so far Oh. What? Oh my god, this poor guy. No wonder, man. I'm actually in in awe of them of this kid. I mean, the fact that from a young age he's had to go through that with his parents, and then had all of this fame. He said that he's had stuff that he's not even been able to mention, and so obviously he's acknowledged the fact that he's you know worked in his stride and, and been strong through it, and he's got through the other side and and whatnot. But I mean, it, it it's just incredible just to think like obviously we look at these mega stars and we see them you know on the covers of magazines and all their fame but we don't see some of the stuff that they go through and i mean we're all people and this is this is honestly tragic man i actually feel like i'm connect i i, I don't have anything that i can relate to him like this but i feel like i'm connecting to him now hearing this His music is so powerful, isn't it? The way that it's visualizing him having to crawl up then was wild. Oof. Dude, it's so powerful. But this has to be so kind of therapeutic for him too, you know. Man, this trilogy, unbelievable. Is he going to run back and open the door for himself maybe? I, I don't know. Yeah. Man, this is. I don't. I think this is one of those moments where you realize that someone is human, you know? And one of those even rarer moments where another human lets you in. And to do it on a scale like this is absolutely unbelievable. And to do it so poetically, like everything about this was incredible. The visuals, the, the track itself, like even just the guitar, it just. You just felt it and, and to hear him singing and rapping like that i just you could tell it came from a real place you know guys let me know how did you feel the first time that you saw this like did it what kind of emotion did it strike you let me know also what other stuff of his should i react to you know because obviously i hear a lot about the trilogy but i'm sure he also has a, a lot of other work so let me know what else of his i should check out but like i said earlier on i'm a 33 year old metalhead from the uk getting into k-pop for the first time ever so if you want to be a part of my journey, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out. And if you want to see these videos before they hit YouTube, decide what we do, have your own videos reacted to. I do have a Patreon. The link to that is down in the description below. Guys, I'll see you in the next one.